Greetings, fellow defenders of the Void Monolith. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, Episode 11, Wasted. Digging compacted steel, that's awfully close to the scythers. Uh, let's deal with these scythers, though. I don't like uh, them hanging out. And then Avalka, I'm gonna let you unrestrict because there is a lot of study here to be done. Now, what I, if I can, uh, how fast do fish pickles move? Oh, you know what? Before I get in this fight, let's have you guys eat something so you're not hungry. So you move at 4-8, so that's faster than any of the scythers. And then Moxie's probably a little bit slower. 4-6, so that's default. Ooh, those are really good hits. So that Scyther that is like out in the lead is now very slow. Oh, good, good hits. All of these hits have been great. Jordan, thank you for the resub. Pleasure to have you here. Uh-oh, crackhead, not paying attention. Fish pickles go help. Yeah, if there was ever a time to be inattentive, it was not then. All right, the ghouls are on it. Uh, Aval could come out here for some medical attention. Yeah, during a scyther fight is like a bad time to look away. My fault. Moxie, you're fine. You don't even have blood to bleed, so like, no problem. All scythers down. Fish pickles you've recently eaten, so go beat up the uh, the ship defoliator. You didn't include a message for that reason? It's not your fault. It's mine. <laughs> 100% my fault. All right, Valka. 10 to crackhead. Jazz, you're done. So the defoliator has been defeated through, I would like to say, cleverness. And you guys want gold enhancement. I'm all about it. I'm 100%. That would have what that's my pick too. No, you're all patched up. You're fine. Don't be a baby. And there was a obelisk study progress. In uh, investigation of the obelisk has revealed some information. It is an Arco-technological device that seems to interact with organic creatures at a distance. It is probably a piece of a much larger architect structure that was destroyed or broken uh, apart long ago. The machinery at its core is inhumanly complex and frighteningly powerful. Its purpose and method of action remain totally mysterious. If not suppressed, um, things go bad. I'll just say that much. Met Cluster defeated. Well, I now have uh, four advanced components, which is, um, well, more than I expected to have. Still working on the ritual room, but the Scythers and the Rats are done. So now I would like to try to get the Psylink. Uh, I think what makes sense is to have like a Valka take fish pickles. That's my plan. Uh, do I have a bedroll? No. All right, let's make a bedroll and get out there. She wants to be a brain girl, so I'm gonna make her a brain girl. Jazz, once you're back with that advanced component, make a bedroll. And we'll set out at uh, daybreak tomorrow. Doesn't make sense to set out now. It's almost nighttime. And Crackhead, you're going to have to do the dark study while I'm out. So, 
resistance 16, resistance 9, and there's basically no certainty left. So, they should be enslaved and joining soon, which is good. I feel like I have enough wood now. I'm going to cancel that. We have a thousand. I like our little compound. It obviously is very flammable and very vulnerable to fire, but well, eventually I, I'm sure you guys will vote on us improving the defenses to stone. Apart from that part, uh, I don't know, I like the design. It's very dirty, though. There we go. Lord X is now converted. So, Lord X, uh, you were not being released, sorry to say. You're being enslaved. But your willpower is only 0 0.9, so it should be pretty quick. All right, Ivalka, you're already up. All right. Let's go. So, Valka, And you are going to bring... Nutrient paste meals, herbal meds, bedroll. Uh, I'm going to have you bring pemmican and raccoon meat and muffalo meat. And then as far as assignments, you're going to be on travel food, making sure travel food includes pemmican, and it does. Godspeed. So there's one enemy where the side links are, and I'm going with fish pickles and a vodka, so it should be fine. Ooh, Lordex has humanity broken. Good. How far are you? 81%? That's not bad. Oh, uh, fish pickles. Add to caravan. Yeah, I forgot about that. If you're wondering, um, ghouls can't carry on caravan. Like, they don't do anything but fight and eat. So, I'm carrying food for him. Or it. Definitely more of an it. A toxic fallout. How lovely. How absolutely lovely. Uh, what is ghouls' sensitivity? Zero. So, ghouls don't care. Toxins don't matter to them at all. I can get behind that. Uh, so yeah, it's going to just be like a home time for everyone else. Just chilling at home. I don't think it would be necessarily a bad idea to start to roof up certain areas. Um, common use used pathways, etc. In fact, I would go so far as to say this would be nice to have. And then however far that we can stretch that. This. One thing I have not yet um, built yet is, is the floodlights uh i think you need advanced lighting for floodlights but i'm definitely interested in getting floodlights floodlights are huge area effect lights which is really useful to use outdoors oh the other thing i should do with moxie before i forget is all of the animals on this map tile are gonna go real nasty real quick so having her kill ibex and whatever else yeah the ibex i guess uh, to top up our meat because we're pretty low on meat at this point. If we needed to rely upon corn, I mean, obviously we could. We have lots of it, but meat, meat is good. So you mosey on over to the other Ibex and get ready. Yeah, no meat equals angry ghouls, exactly. Mm. Oh, where did that land? Oh, okay.
Would it be worth taking it out of the NPM? Probably. Not a bad call. We are losing our supply soon. The Valka is a day away. I think the meat that she's bringing is rotting. So, I'm, but once we get there, we can have fish pickles like kill some small critters and and get ready to eat them. Uh, another thing that would be smart for me to do is if we're coming out here regularly um, to suppress this thing, uh, to just build like a simple wooden column to add a roof over it because it's going to need regular suppression and study. And uh, I don't want to like die from toxins doing that science. That sounds like not a fun time. Sorry, crackhead, but no, go haul. You do technically get more nutrients from butchering and uh, butchering, I think, than you do just eating body parts. But for little things like squirrels, it, the amount of time and effort and energy it takes to haul them is not worth it. But for bigger things like Ibex, it would be. So there's a there's a tilt point of certain body size where like because the ghouls themselves can't haul they can't even caravan so they can't bring food to anywhere so that requires a lot of back and forth with jazz and crackhead who are already like stressed out and don't need more of that and lordix is about to join or be enslaved I don't have a place for them, though. So let's put this for slaves. Moxie took some be beatings to the head last time she fought a Ibex, so I was waiting to fight the others because I wouldn't want her to be uh, decapitated. The reason I'm not going for more mechs is I don't have a way to deal with the uh, pollution in a reasonable way. So I've just been leaving it until I have uh, pollution solutions. <laughs> That's fun to say. So Pollock seeds or um, Apocriton waste pack atomizers, something. But I don't need more mechs that just are dormant constantly. That doesn't seem effective. Ooh. Ibex got your nose? Data Cryptodrone hack. Interesting. So that's for the information about the um, the Nerve Spiker, which is like a stunning crossbow, our relic. Um, and Ida can show up to destroy it. Obviously, I'm not going to accept it right now because Avalka's out of the base and she's our best researcher. But that's good to know. And a hulking assembly. Oh my god. So many... So many offers. So this is a, what is that? 700-ish um, material um, monument that they want. The Codex of Silly. So it's a sleep suppressor codex. That's a legendary. It would be kind of single use. Uh, this is, teaches you pemmican. Oh God, these books are so dumb. A shock lance and plasteel. I'm just going to say no. The rewards for that are just horrible. They're horrible for a 700 sized monument, especially given that I don't have space in my base for a monument and uh, we're about to lose that, you know, due to the toxic fallout, we aren't going outside for a bit. Lordex, you are enslaved. So one of the things about being enslaved is we're now gonna have the demand for a, um, um, a roll. 
Uh, you, being a slave, need to wear slave things, though. So, slave things. Take that off. I need to make you slave things. Um, I don't know what temperature I should make things for, but let's make you tribal wear and a slave collar. So the tribal wear will be out of camel hide and the slave collar out of steel. And camel hide. Rackhead, go for it. One book is for Pemmican, the other is for uh, the Sleep Suppressor. Neither are particularly interesting to me. Hey, 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 no drugs for you. Excuse me, sir. None. No, wait, that's books, but also none, bu none books, too. Drug policy. Uh, new drug policy. None drugs. He's addicted to, to um, smoke leaf, so hey, put that... No, that's my fault. None. He's going to be a bit of... Stop it. What none do you understand here, dude? Do I need to cut your tongue out? Let me make sure that none policy is a none policy, but I'm pretty sure I said none. Yeah, it's none, dude. I know he's chemically fascinated. I don't really care. Guys, he's trying to get high. Should we cut his hand off and turn him into a ghoul? I mean, he does have a little bit of a melee passion. I'll ask one more time. Should we ghoulize Lornix? Um, and one thing I could do is do this. If you don't want him as a ghoul, I'm going to put all the smoke leaf joints, like, where he can't get at them. Do you have them on you? Okay, no, you don't. I was wondering if you had them in your prison wallet. Oh, Pollution Society. Uh, we have got a whole bunch of, uh... A whole bunch of raiders coming. It's too bad that Avalka and Fish Pickles are out of the base. This is not a good time for us. The other thing is I um I don't have a zone that's like well set up for slaves because generally speaking slaves shouldn't be around weaponry uh, and I have a ton of weapons just like kind of everywhere and it's going to encourage him to um, want to rebel. Oh god, there was more more joints. Stop it. I'm trying to think of other things that I could do for protection. Uh, I think the best thing I could do right now is to just do... Um, to extend the deadfall trap uh, tunnels. It's going to be the cheapest way for us to, you know functionally defend ourselves, I think. It's, I mean, they're piss poor wood deadfall traps. Uh, and I could go with stone. I just, I don't, I just, stone ones take so long to build. I think we'll actually do more damage making wooden ones than if we took the time to build stone ones. Interestingly. And Caravan has arrived at the outpost, so I'm, like, fighting two raids at once. So, there's Gordiana. Oh, well, there's a lot of Tinctoria here. I'm glad I sent my plant tender. And the Moxie, I hope, peels up quicker than she currently is. In fact, it reminds me... I need to get that Ibex, too.
Don't worry about suppressing that right now. We have kind of bigger fish to fry. Uh, you've got 20 more seconds on that pole. Wow, by one vote, we're going to ghoulize him. I think I'm going to wait until there's a doctor in the house, though. So he gets to be human for a little bit longer. All right, back over to the uh, other raid. I don't even know where the dude went. Oh, there she is. Dudette, whatever. Oh, you're a Hussar. Hmm, I wonder if Hussars taste any different. Maybe they're gamier. This Hussar is not high on Gojuice, which is a real shame for that Hussar, because she could have maybe won that fight had she been high on Gojuice. But uh, no high, no win. Oh my god, Avalka, your aim is atrocious, girl. You're also, like, skill 11, so, I mean, you don't really have much of a excuse here. Uh, all right, there we go. We have the Psylink, I think. I'm going to stay red because we're going to get another, um, you know, we're in two raids at once. Avalka, what did you learn? Solar pinhole? Oh, that's not a bad one. And Neural Heat Dump. That's not so useful when you don't have other combat ones. Fish Pickles is having his fill of um, Hussar meat. I do see that I was attacked. Don't worry, I noticed. As much as I would like to stick around and like... Um, pick Tinctoria? I, I don't have that luxury of time. So I'm going to get home now. I will bring home the Eltec Skull Caps, though. That's spicy. And the Tukes. And the Sash. And mm, the Drake. No, I'd rather move fast. Okay. Raid is attacking. We don't have much in the way of defenses to show for it quite yet. I'm going to have Moxie in position, Crackhead in position. Lordex is like the world's slowest tree cutter. This is... Okay, can you... Just, okay, there we go. And here they come. So this is the only valid path. Oh, no, it is not a valid path. Shoot. So they're going to burn walls. That's my fault. Moxie, put that out. I meant to have that door open, and I didn't. Which is a problem, because now they're bashing their way in. It might, however, spread them out. And also, it's funny, I think they were fighting each other. Yeah. They were trying to kill one another. Okay. Let's converge here. Come on, you have a valid path. There we go. There goes Gray. Surprisingly, the uh, giant wooden wall I had did not necessarily get caught on fire very much. So Moxie closed to the Antichrist. What a name. And I have my robots um, doing stuff. Oh, there is an enemy behind us. 
So, uh, let's assume that this is gonna be a nasty fight. I'm gonna drop the... the mini turret to the north. We can always make another one if we want. And the slave here is going to have to throw down. Catherine on the robot's down. Pretty easy to regestate though. And it bought me time. And time is useful. Davenport, are you any good? No. There goes art. Art, surprisingly, does not do art. They're a brawler wimp. Very confused about their identity there. Okay, uh, they are fleeing. Um, good. Lordix, you're down. Don't worry, it's, it's be normal. Let's put out the fires. If I want to continue using this trap tunnel, uh, I'm going to need some additional doors so that we can arm it without dying. And I wouldn't mind some extra organs, but the fire comes first. Fish pickles and a vodka on their way home. And they are about a day and a half out. And they have about a day and a half food. Moxie, you want to eat one of them? I won't stop you. So I think... This guy is a genie. Bad back. Kind of broken. And then this one uh, can also be captured. Don't have a bed for them yet, but that's easy to do. And then there's Lord X. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Okay, let's capture them. They're not bleeding that hard. One of the ramifications of the fact that they can crawl is that uh, they'll, like, get up and keep fighting, even when it's, like, dreadfully inappropriate, and you often coup de gras at the end of it and just kill them with the punches. It's pretty silly. Um... I definitely don't really care for either of them, so they're just going to be organ donors. Making that uh, unilateral decision now. Moxie! That was in toxic... Okay, I misread that. You are definitely getting super polluted. Uh, so let's get you inside. Glad I checked that. So you are going to be in area one. Um, my own people are only initially... Actually, Jazz is having a gas mask on. He's fine. But she's going to be in there so that she doesn't get toxic buildup. You still need to be tended to. We're hoping that Avalka comes home soon for that. We got the Silink. I'll get that off the list. Build a temple. What is our temple called? It is a shrine. 
So technically we're building a shrine, but I think you guys know what I mean. Uh, before these corpses rot, I don't think it's a necessarily bad idea to haul them in and butcher them. More meat and human leather seems to be a good thing. Oh, there's um, pollution spilling out of the mech gestator because there's tox packs in there. Uh, so I probably want to put the tox packs somewhere. I'm going to put them here. Because I don't want them killing my prisoners as a result of uh, pollution exposure. So, extract from that. And then we're going to need to just clean that up at some point. That seems like a Lordex thing to do, given that he's a slave. Davenport. I apparently need to race to kill you with organ harvesting because you are trying to die on me. Copy that. Oh god, don't walk on that. I'm gonna bust these holes now. So I don't have to watch him potentially step on a, a spike and get hurt. Bloodthirsty reunion. Uh, four sanguifages want to meet here. Uh, sanguifages might not be bad to host. Maybe we want to be a sanguifage. I don't know. I'll have you guys vote on that in a second. So do we have perimeter security? I think we do. Yeah, everything looks uh, locked down now. Okay, I don't want you hauling them out here. I don't care about those trees anymore, actually. All them to our... Oh, is he rotted? Oh, that explains it. Yeah. Don't butcher a rotted dude. Do we host the single phages? Many to bring. Tony. Oh, nice. So Tony is really ready to be one of us now. Slave unsuppressed. Ah, uh, don't worry. You're not going to be a slave for very much longer. As soon as Valka gets home, uh, you're going to be a ghoul. I'm rather surprised that the Toxic Builder hadn't hasn't faded from Moxie. I'm a little worried that it's bugged and won't. She's been in there long enough. So let's let's take note. She's at uh, 61% and I'll check again like in a few days to see if it has changed. Looks like you guys want to host the vampires. Uh, I think it's going to be best for a Valka to be home for that. But maybe you don't want Ivaka to be the vampire, I don't know. She is the Psycaster already, so she has a... If she becomes a vampire, she will have some extra um, sensitivities, which makes her a better caster. Uh, but that could be left up to you. Okay, they're back. So... Fish pickles to area one, and everyone else can stay inside right now. Wow, 
We have not been home very long, and there's already a wolf on my tail. Where is it? I dare you, wolf. I dare you. Go for a fox, yeah. You're smart. Okay, looks like hosting vampires. Who becomes the sanguifage or vampire? Valka? Jazz? Uh, I'm not going to consider Crackhead because he's actually not one of us yet. So Valka, Jazz, that's it. Toss up between those two. I'm not picking someone that isn't of our ideology. Doesn't sound right. Doesn't seem right. There's a lot of power. Avalka, now that you're home, uh, speaking of which, this dude doesn't have a kidney, um, but he has a lung and a heart that look fine. So let's operate. And then there's Art, who has a kidney, lung, and heart. Hmm. If we're becoming vampires, uh, maybe we want blood bags. So I'm going to take your lung, take your kidney and your lung, and then set you up as hemofarmed. Mmm. Big brain play. Except for Davenport here might not even survive. No, you'll live. Albeit barely, but you'll live. Without that, can you unlikely survive? Uh, I can... No. So, so wasters are uh, super immune. So they are better at recovering from that kind of stuff anyway. Surgery failed. Oh, why'd you do that? Ooh, Hemogen. All right, quest expires, but, you know, we're going to say yes. And obviously I'm picking Xenoterman Plendation here. And it looks like Avaka and Jazz are uh, neck and neck. So one more minute on that poll, you guys to decide who gets the gift of undeath. Oh, there's one other reason to pick Avaka. Uh, she has a bad back. That would go away. Just, you know, thumb on the scale a little bit. So she'll get added uh, psychic sensitivity as a psychaster, which she's already a psychaster, and she'll have her bad back healed because she'll be a vampire. So, like, you know, kind of a two for one special there. All right, vamps. Have fun. I'm not going to betray them. I'm just, I'm not in the position to fight four vampires at once. Um,. Plus, if there was ever anyone that we would ever be allied with, it would be Sango Vages, I think. Uh, I like how this vampire's name is Toga. Toga Blossoms. <laughs> Man, what a peaceful name for a vampire. And Smegly? Ugh. I don't like that nickname. Uh, and Sweats or Sweets? Maybe it's like Sweat Sweets. And Iko. Oh, uh, I also forgot something. Hey, you. Uh, you are going to have your wooden hand removed. Oh, my. Hmm. There's a reason why I'm removing his hand. Don't worry. It's like smart. Surprisingly. Keep clean in the hospital. Trust me, you're going to want it nice and clean where you're going. All right, you need a hospital for slaves. Rest until healed. Avalka, go rip his hand off. Crackhead, why are you meditating? 
You're you're praying with the uh the gore hulk. I like it. Okay, and then next up, ghoul infusion. Meeting is complete. Oh, uh, hold up on the ghoul infusion. We are going to accept the single phase xenoserm into a Valka. She's going to be a fleshless mass uh, vampire. A very strange, very unique combination, I think. Uh, she's going to be down a little while, so uh, yeah, Obelisk needs suppression. Uh, the other thing I could do is the inside zone here. Temporarily, I can just put it here uh, so that it uh, doesn't do its thing. I already have a roof on it. And Jazz doesn't really need to be restricted anyway, because Jazz has a gas mask. This toxic fall is not really bothering him. Crackhead, you want to try the uh, infusion? No, I think it's too risky. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to ruin a, a perfectly good shard doing it wrong. You guys getting fed? You know, I meant to butcher those people and never did. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Anomaly Death Cult, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 17th and April 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodabon.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodabon.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow death cultists. <laughs>